All right, in this video, we're gonna look at an example of a position vector. And um, in this case, we're gonna do a position vector that is in three dimensions. So position vector, and I look at an example. And again, the idea of the position vector is a vector that defines the position of one point relative to another point. So in this uh, particular example, we're gonna have uh, our z-axis going this direction. We're gonna have our x-axis going this direction. And we're gonna have our y-axis Go in this direction. Maybe I'm making this a little bit too big and let's see how it goes. All right, that's not too bad. All right, so that's my X, Y, and C axis. And we're gonna have two points. Uh, we're gonna have a point over here that is point A. And this point A is 3.5 meters above the y-axis. So this over here is 3.5 meters. And um, I'm gonna say that it's 1.5 meters from the z-axis. So this distance over here, this is gonna be 1.5 meters. So our assumption is that that, or one of the assumptions is that this point A is going to be in the Y, Z plane. So it's like in the wall, in this wall over here, right? All right, so that's point A. And then point C, we're gonna have point C is somewhere, um, uh, let's make it perhaps yellow, somewhere around here. And for that point C, we have different type of information. We have that the distance between the origin to C is 3.5 meters. Uh, but I also have the angle with the x-axis, and that angle is 70 degrees. Now, it, the assumption for point C is that it's in the x-y plane. So. If this was, a, let's say, the wall here in the YZ plane, the XY plane <clears throat> would be equivalent to the floor of that room, let's say. All right, very good. And the idea is to find the position vector RCA. Okay, so find the position vector R C A. Now C A means that is the position of A relative to C. Okay? So A is the head of the vector, C is going to be the tail of the vector. So let me see if I can use a green uh, in here. Let me see if I can do this line. Not the easiest thing to do. Try my best. There you go. So that is the position vector that we're looking for, right? This is the position vector RCA. RAC will be the other way around. What I mean by that is the head of the vector will be at C instead of at A. Okay, very good. So to solve this problem, I'm gonna follow the following strategy. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is to find the position vectors RC and RA. And those are the, pos the vector of C relative to the origin and the vector that defines the position of A relative to the origin, right? So those are just two vectors RC and RA. And then what I'm gonna do is say that our CA is our A minus RC. 
And so remember here, the, the uh, vector that defines the head of the vector, right, goes first, and then you have minus RC. If we flip this around, and we're going to have minus RCA, which is not the correct um, the correct value. All right, very good. All right, so let's just start with the definition of uh, RA. Let's define RA. Okay. So you want to define RA. Uh, what we can see here from the drawing is uh, this is in the YZ plane. We can actually get the coordinates of that point A. So we can actually define my vector RA. See, in the X direction, we're going to have nothing, right? There's no distance in this direction because it is in the YZ plane, right? So it will be 0i. I'm not going to write the 0i, but it will be 0i. Um, the, uh, in the Y axis, we have... 1.5 meters, but it's negative because it's going in this direction. This is my positive y, this is my negative y. So we have negative 1.5 j hat. And in the z direction, we're going to have 3.5 meters, right? So 3.5 meters of height. So plus 3.5 k hat, and the units of that will be in meters. Very good. All right, so that's that's what we have so far for RA. Now let's define RC. And what I'm going to do for this, for the explanation of this, is I'm going to do a drawing where I see the this figure, but drawn drawn from the top. Okay, so I'm going to see my x-axis and my y-axis, and we're going to look at the um, distances of c relative to the x and the y-axis. So looking at this from the top, we're going to see, let's see something like this. It's going to be my x-axis. This is going to be my y-axis. And then C is somewhere over here, let's say. This distance is 3.5 meters. And this angle is going to be 70 degrees. Okay. So now from here, it's a lot easier to see how do we need to calculate the um, this distances, right? So. If I do a right triangle right here, this 90 degrees in here, I can see that this distance is going to be the component in the x-axis. That will be 3.5 cosine of 70. Okay, so my RC is 3.5 cosine of 70i, right? And then in this direction, this distance is going to be 3.5 sine of 70 plus 3.5 sine of 70j. And it's, it's positive, right? Because this is my positive direction of my y-axis. All right, if I do those calculations, let's see, I should have them here. I'll be doing somewhere, yeah, it's 1.197 i plus 3.298 j meters. That is my uh, vector RC, and over here, we have our vector RA, right? And again, those are the vectors that define the positions of A and C relative to the origin. All right, last, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna calculate RCA, right? And that is RC minus RA. 
All right, very good. So RCA is RC, which we define as this 1.197i, 1.197i plus 3.298j minus my vector RA, which is all the way out here, uh, minus 1.5j plus 3.5k, all right, so that'll be minus 1.5j plus 3.5k hat, right? Now, in this case, I'm gonna take my I's together, uh, my J's together, and my K's together, right? The only I I have is this 1.197. Um, and I just realized I made a mistake. What's the mistake? Okay, this is wrong, right? I was just saying that this is RA minus RC. Okay, so this is not what we're looking for. Yeah, very good. This reality is minus 1.5j plus 3.5k hat minus 1.197i plus 3.298j. Right. It is RA minus RC. That's correct. RA minus RC. Okay, so um, I, we have negative 1.197I. J, we have this one over here. We have this one over here will be negative, um, uh, that will be 4 point, I uh, have it here with three significant digits. Let me, um, A, zero, J, and now we have our 3.5 K, um, which is here, and that will be positive plus 3.5k and this will be in meters okay three significant digits since we're this is our final calculation our final result so this will be minus 1.20 i minus 4.80 j and plus 3. i guess 50k right be consistent there and that will be our ca All right, so once again, the key for these problems is to first define the position vector for each of the points, and then calculate your position vector one relative to the other one. And remember not to make the mistake that I did, right? The mistake is always put first the vector defining your head, and then the one defining your tail. So RA minus RC. So that's what we get.